the witness is just the guy you have to see if you want to get the chess piece that I want to get, which just so happens to be the Storm Dancer's Brace. Now, I was in a Master Knight fall with a guy last night that had this thing, and boy was it hitting. He was riding around on what seemed like nothing, floating with grace and ease, and just laying down the lightning bolts, baby. He had the Sith fingers, he called it, what did he call them? The tickle fingers. He had tickle fingers from hell, my friend, because he was laying down them ads like it was nothing. All them little uh, explodey things that come at you when you start running through that darkness area was no problem for this guy. And I asked him, hey, what's your secret? What are you using there? And he said, I'm using the Storm Dancer's Brace and I got it from Zer. I didn't believe him because I've been seeing Zer every single week since like November of last year and I've never come across this amazing chess piece. So I thought to myself, it's gotta be at Shadowkeep. The one, the only mission that I have not completed in this entire campaign up until where we're at today because there was so much other things to do. Like when I came into this uh, Destiny 2 community, I uh, started out at Beyond Light and then moved on from there to the next thing and then moved on from that thing to the thing after that and I just didn't have time for Shadowkeep and my current clan members at the time, they basically said, oh, there's nothing really to get there, you know, uh, I can't recall anything of any note, which was total BS because I ended up getting the Xenophage, I ended up getting the uh, Assassin's Cow from a Hunter. And I can't wait to see what's next to get for my uh, Titan. I'm not really sure. I'm missing two exotic armor pieces. And it could be either one of them. Who knows? So anyhow, as you head into this uh, crazy, creepy environment, you start to come across all these enemies. And they just so happen to be the guys that you go head up against in the uh, Season of the Haunted go head up against three fools Dominus, Gaul, the Fanatic and Crota, son of orcs and these guys are not very powerful, I mean the light level for this campaign was I believe like 1350 I could be mistaken, it could be a little bit higher, but if you're anything like me and you're at a higher light level, you're hitting a hard cap maybe you're not, shoot you could be at the uh, soft cap for all I know, but you're still gonna slide right through here like butter on a hot plate man i mean it's just it's just that simple uh basically you're just damaging this guy enough times to where he retreats and you move on to the next clown and there's revive so you know there's no problem here if you get knocked you just get back up and try again until you finish him off and it's that simple now the cool part comes at the end so you end up running into the witness, but he takes over your body. And, you know, I thought it was quite amazing. I got to do it with my hunter and I keep my helmet on at all times. Uh, I figured out I could do it. I did it and I never looked back. And then I forgot that I did it and couldn't remember what my guy looked like. And then all of a sudden I'm standing toe to toe with myself. And he's talking all creepy with this sinister look. And it was a really cool experience that I think that you should uh, have for yourself. I highly suggest any person coming into D2, any person that's been playing D2 forever and hasn't had a chance to do Shadow Keep, I highly suggest you do it just for the experience, just for the rich story content that you get out of this situation it's really cool and it really gives some perspective to the season of the haunted in this particular vessel you really don't get to see the true beauty of the pyramid like what it has to offer like when you go into the uh witch queen uh campaign like you really get to see the inside of these pyramids and like all the different creatures that the travelers collected over time and i really can't wait to see this uh new season that's coming up i believe it's dropping in 23 uh and it looks really cool like you get these uh grappling hooks that you swing through this uh towering city and um 
it just looks like really tough, man. I'm wondering if it's going to be like a poison subclass. I mean, that would kind of make sense because they dropped the uh, the Osteostriga in the Witch Queen campaign. And boy, does that thing hit. I mean, especially if you pair it with a exotic piece of armor that increases the uh, poison damage. Man, you will be waping ads in a matter of time, and it also does that tick damage. Uh, another weapon that's really useful in that regard is the uh, Le Monarch. Now, I've heard people say that word differently. It's the bow that shoots the uh, void, and it like does like poison damage and stuff. Uh, I've heard people call it the La Monarch, which sounds kind of ridiculous because it reads uh layman arc but potatoes patatas tomatoes tomatoes you know how it goes so as soon as we crush this full oryx you get to the end of this uh area and just wait till you see it man it's pretty freaky like I really like doing it with my hunter and I wish I would have been filming at that time like it was so cool that I would almost consider resetting the character just to run it back one time actually no I would never do that my hunter is a beast and he I think he's at the highest light level of all three characters that I have but you know just saying it, it was that cool but like once you get to this area this part of the map man it's uh quite amazing If you like this content, please support the channel, drop a like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, really help that algorithm put me out there. Because I was actually searching for one of my videos recently, I typed in the title exactly and it took me to another more popular YouTuber. So it would really help me out, I'd deeply appreciate it and I promise to bring New content, not just for beginners, but just for entertainment value as a whole. So please hit that like button, and I will see you next time.